Hi, welcome back to the channel. <clears throat> Out for a wild camp. It's Saturday the 12th of August. Should catch some meteors tonight. There's a meteor storm hitting the UK. So I'm going to set up a time lapse for that using the GoPro. We're going to find a decent spot with an opening so we can actually get some sky shots. <clears throat> and um, we have to walk a little bit from here because I've seen on the Google Maps there is an opening coming up. We're in a wood I've been in a few times, so big, big wood for our area. So I'm hoping to find somewhere decent we can set up. I don't think we're going to need tarps, it's not going to rain. It's going to be clear tonight. Got the tarps, obviously. You always got to carry your tarps. But whether we need them, I don't know. So let's go and find an opening, a nice clearing. Something like this, but a bit clearer bit more of an opening. So at night we're going to see the sky. There's some decent places to come off with a hammock. And I need to um, set my camera up. There's a field over there. I'll clearly be running in that field tonight. Right, that's my um, hammock set up, set up. It's a long span, this, with big trees. So those tree huggers are worth their money. They're a little bit heavier than normal, but that's what they're for. And my whoopies are nearly fully extended. I mean, yeah, I could have found a better, um, closer piece of the tree, but no, I don't need to. This is a good area, I like it. I've got a bench. He's got his set up on the same tree. We're not thinking about tarps. I might throw a ridge line up and if it rains, chuck the tarp over, but I want to be able to see the sky and I've got a really good viewpoint of the sky there, which I'm happy about. There's a field over there, the corner, which I can get this camera set up on the time lapse and leave it overnight. I'm happy with it. There's a bit of breeze, but it's going to drop off, they say. I've checked above me. There's a piece of dead wood over there, if it fell, it ain't gonna hit me, it's gonna go over there. There's nothing above us, it's just an opening. Let's see what he's got. No, he's good as well. So yeah, it looks all good, it looks good. So let's get the um, under blanket on, slim bag out, get our kits properly set up. It's gonna be a good camp if we fill this. We've got a um, three quarter moon tonight, so we can have good light as well in there with my life. So yeah, pretty pleased. We've got the under blanket on, the DD under blanket. The DD Jura 2 XL sleeping bag is in and my pillow. 
That um, hammock is a DD Hammocks Frontline XL Multicam. Right, this cinching I've done on here, I've loosened it. So when I get in it, it's going to pull down, so we have to feel it when I'm in, see what it's like. We're both on the same tree. He's got the same setup as me and he's over there. So yeah, so far so good. It's not cold, it's sort of mild, about 19, perhaps 20 degrees. Really nice wood. We're in a bit of a lull here. It's a bit lower. Turn it around. A bit of a lull. We're a bit lower than over there. So if you're over there, you're not going to see us so much. Hammocks are low. Got a log seat, which you can see there, which is nice. This side is just a great big drop off hill. So from down there, you can't see us anyway. So yeah, it's pretty camouflaged. We've got a giant bush over there. So that's blocking us totally from that side. Yeah, I think you'd have to come across us to actually find us here. I like it, I like the spot. And then as you can see, we've got a good bit of sky there to see out of when we're laid up at night looking at these shooting stars. So I think it's going to be a good night. If weather's going as it says it is, it's going to stay the same. It's going to be a good night. I can't see that changing unless it's a, dramatic, it's a dramatic change, but it does around here. We're in the Chilton Hills and it just, you get weather that's live. They just don't know what's going on, basically. So, yeah. Going to sleep in this tonight. This is my second time sleeping in it. I slept in it in France about a week or so ago. Comfortable, big hammock. I like it. Right, we're in the, in the hammock in the bag. warm when I get out of it in a minute because it's too hot to be in it now it's not that cold tonight it's going down to the forecast of the lowest is going to be 11 12 14 most of the night so it's not going to get mega cold so I thought I'd show you my view from in the bag in the in the hammock that's what I can see the sky and that's what I'm hoping to catch some um meteors It's pretty warm and so far. I don't know what he's doing over there. But yeah, I'm hoping to catch the meters glimpses through this because it's going to clear. So, all being well, like I say, it'd be a great night. I know I'm going to be nice and warm. Probably too warm. I'll probably have to pull some of this back and then just adjust as the night goes on. So, what time is it? It's only 2.30 at the moment. And it's going to be dark in here, I'd say, in this wood by about quarter to eight. Sunset half eight, but it'll be dark before that inside the wood. So I'm going to have to get my cooking done. Everything ready I need to do before, because I don't like cooking at night. I've got lights, but it's just easier during the day. So, like I say, I'm going to get a brew on. I've got some beers. I've only got a couple each. I'll have those a bit later. You probably won't start a fire. It's too warm. So no need for a fire. Dave might turn up, he might not. So I'll get up in a second and I'll get something to um, drink and think about getting some food on. So we we'll back to you with the food and drink. Really pleased with this location. Sometimes you're sort of like, is it a good location? I'm not super happy, but it'd do. I actually like this location, I like it. We're in a beech wood. They reckon you shouldn't hammock in a beech wood because you do get dead full. But we've checked that and there's no serious forecast for wind tonight, so I'm pretty um, confident we're going to be okay. So I suppose it's uh, get a brew on and have a little bit of an explore as well. Yeah, Dave said he might pop up and see us for a few hours. He can't stay out tonight, but that's if he can find us. Because he won't be able to see us, I know that. He'll have to um, either call me. I've set it in my location, but see if he can track us down. So let's get a brew on. Right, we've got this nice log here. So we'll see if we can get a... It's got a bit of a flat on it, so see if we can get a thing on going on there. Get a little brew on.
I'm not in a hurry. And the other good thing is, if you don't go full blast with the gas, this is aluminium. So you don't want that roaring his head off because it's just going to melt your aluminium anyway. Because this windshield isn't going to be have any coldness on it because there's no water around it. So it's just air temperature. You don't want to melt anything. And aluminium will melt if you get too much heat next to it. So be careful. If you look, you'll find photos of these all just melting around. There's no need to go mad. We're not in a hurry. Right, that's getting ready to boil. It's been a couple of minutes, but I don't need it boiled, so that's good enough for me. And I put a bit of cold in my coffee because I don't like it that hot. Cheers. What a great day. We've had a bit of a crappy week actually for weather. A couple of nice days. But today, if that sky clears, yeah, the clouds are breaking now. That's why it's come nice again. Yeah. Have a good night. I'm looking forward to it. Looking forward to seeing some meteors on the old time lapse. That should be good fun. So if I get any, or whatever I get, I'll shove it in. It's only going to be 30 seconds or something because you don't get too much darkness with this time of year. Just going to sit back and draw my coffee. You can probably hear it on the sound. There's a there's a dual carriageway about half a mile away and it hums quite a lot. Trouble with where we live, we're in a major network of roads and I don't think there's anywhere you can go where you just get away from that sound. That's the trouble with England, especially the south of England, unless you get right down in the west country, you've just got roads. And we're only about 28 miles away from London. So yeah, that's, that is the pain of it. Dartmoor next, we hope. Looking to get down to Dartmoor um, over the end of this month, or the start of September do a Dartmoor camp. That'd be me and Peter, I don't think Dave can make it. Well we'll see, see if we can make it, we're asking. Right, let's go and have a look around, see what we can find. I want to see what this field's like down here for um, the time lapse later. I'm going to turn you around and look at what I'm looking at as I'm going so we can both see it together. You're on a gimbal so it should be fairly steady compared to handheld. I've got to avoid all this crazy undergrowth because nobody comes in this wood there's a lot of actual wood yeah, say nobody comes in there there's some stuff down there we'll have a look at that in a minute i think they shoot in there shooting i've seen feeders for the um animals that they want to shoot so but what i'm interested in is this field And if I can get into it, or if it's fenced, even if it's fenced, if I can get the camera over it. I 
yeah apparently they do paintball and stuff here so perhaps that's what it's all about I mean that looks like a place you can hide down for paintball doesn't it I don't know oh yeah it's an open field by the look of it it's got corn growing in it there's a fenced area over there we're going to have a look at that in a minute let's go and have a look at this field i've been to the field before i flew a drone the other end but there wasn't any corn in it because it was a while ago looks like a big bird on this tree as well so look at that Look at that. Big burn. It's an infection on the tree. Right, this would be perfect. So if I leave the camera out here tonight, come and get it in the morning, I'll be fine. Look at that sky. Let's put you up to the sky. Yeah, that's gonna clear, they say. We're having a clear night. So when that clears, we should have some good, um, good sky. There's a giant mushroom down there. Look at that. Right, let's go and have a look at this um, fenced area, see what it's all about. Obviously this is farm, there's farmland there and everything. Yeah, it's a big fenced area. They must keep um, stuff in there. You get a lot of vehicles, tracks in there. Now, I haven't seen any vehicles driving, but you can see the tracks. Yeah, grouse. Just saw them running. Oh, they've got a um, camera sensor or electric fence around that, so I'm not going over there. There's obviously a shooting area. You can see our setup through there. We're right in the middle of this um, picture. It's hard to see on a small screen, but I'm sure you'll see it on a big screen. Just sitting there quietly having a brew and I can hear quite a few shotguns going off but they are over this shoulder that way and they're not that close so I don't think there's anything to panic about but well <clears throat> if they get louder then I'm going to have to start shouting because I don't want to get shot more importantly I don't want my kit getting shot, so, well, it's quite far off, I'm sure we're okay, there's a wedding going on up there, there's a place that does weddings, perhaps they're doing shooting, I don't know, it's about three quarters of a mile away, <clears throat> but so far, <clears throat> a few chinnies down, get some cooking on soon, Peter's gone into his hammock and then lie down, he's all tucked away. He does like to get to bed early. Bed early. 20 to 6. Bloke's a freak. Well, I'm going to get some cooking on when I've had this beer. It's my last beer. Dave hasn't turned up. He's been texting me, but I don't know if he's going to find us. We're quite deep in the undergrowth. So. He might turn up, but if he does, I'll hear him coming because he's quiet. All you can hear is a hum of the motorway. Anything, even a bird flying out of a tree, you can hear it. So, we'll see. Well, cheers. If you're having a drink watching this, I'd like to have a drink with you. If you're not, get yourself a cup of tea. See you in a bit. Alright, I'm going to start cooking now. 
let's get out what we've got. I'll tip you down towards the um, cooker and everything. And you can see what I'm cooking. Meatballs and onions. I've got noodles, but <clears throat> not sure I'm going to do them. This is, we'll find out now. Yeah, it's not too bad, is it? And there's the onions and meatballs prepared with some seasoning. Here's my spatula I made a while ago. That's too hot. Sort of simmer. Smells lovely. <laughs> it smells so good on Krupa. Got a little bit of sauce to go in it. Once it's um, cooked up. This is Italian, no it's not Italian, Swedish meatballs from Asda in the UK and just onions and some steak seasoning and that's it, that's all that's in there. Like I say, I've got some um, noodles, but to be honest, Peter's gone to bed, he probably doesn't want nothing to eat, so I'll just have this with some sauce. Testing one, two. 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 Dave says he's on his way, meatballs are ready, so I'm going to get tucked in. Nice and warm, probably too hot. Yep, far too hot. I've got a feeling my spatula got meths on it because I licked the spatula earlier and a meths taste.
this has a different taste to it as well. So yeah, I might have to make another one. I think that's contaminated. It's been in the bag with the meths and that. Anyway, bon appetit. Absolutely lovely. I'm going to enjoy this, finish this off, I'll be back to you soon. Just doing the last brew before bed. Then I'm going to set my camera up for the night lapse and um, let that run overnight and see how that goes tomorrow. So here's the last brew on. Well, good morning. It's half five. Had a good night last night. Dave turned up. Didn't do much filming when he was there. It's just chatting and that and having a drink. Batteries are dying. GoPro's been out all night. I'm just retrieving it now to see what this time lapse of the sky was like. But to be honest, it was a bit cloudy, so I have no idea what it's going to be like. Still running. Let's shut that off. Right, I'm going to go back and pack up, and I'm out of here. Let's see what this footage is like. Get it uploaded. Thanks for watching, until next time.